To other news on the night beat, it is worse than we thought. Turns out there were more violent incidents during this year's Fiesta celebrations than originally reported. They all happened at one location. Market Square. And here's the other thing. This weekend, more people are going to be at that same spot for Cinco de Mayo celebrations. The night team's John Paul Barajas tells us how police are planning to keep everyone safe this weekend. Sunday morning's deadly shooting brought chaos and panic at Market Square. Days later, we found a very different scene, but the people who work here haven't forgotten about this weekend. What were you thinking when you were so close, I asked. The nerves when I heard the gunshots and people running, what I did was leave everything to try and protect my life, he said. Police say two suspects died in Sunday's shooting and four bystanders were hurt. Everything's fine during the day. Seven o'clock, things start getting a little bit more packed. There's a ton of people here. You notice around nine people are really getting intoxicated. At 11 o'clock Saturday night, police arrested a man with a semi-automatic rifle at Market Square. That happened about an hour before Sunday's deadly shooting, and there were other problems. A week earlier, on Saturday, April 20th, SAPD says officers heard a gunshot at a music stage under I-35 near Market Square. They arrested a man who was found with a gun. And then on Monday, April 22nd, police arrested someone for throwing an object at an officer and cutting his nose. Officers also arrested another person for punching an officer as they broke up a fight. Police said they issued several people citations for fighting. Market Square, unfortunately, has become notorious during Fiesta. Last year, there was a shooting. This year, there was several incidents and another shooting. District thoughts on that. We close early to avoid anything happening to us. Police Chief William McManus has promised additional safety measures next year, but it's unclear what those will be. Police Chief McManus has already mentioned a few of those things. Don't expect to not be checked, your bags and things like that, uh, in this event next year. But they're going to give us a full slate of recommendations. Now, Mayor Ron Nirenberg says this weekend's festivities will wrap up by 6 p.m., which is several hours earlier than Fiesta de los Reyes, and believes that'll play a major role in keeping people safe, including an additional law enforcement presence. But vendors we spoke to have uh, agree with that, and they think they'll have a fun and calm weekend. But top of mind to them is Fiesta of next year. And, and I like Market Square a lot, so it's very unfortunate it's, what's happening there. I, I'm not sure what the solution is either because it's just such an open place. It's a, a great time, but what we hear constantly is during the day. And then people mm -hmm. tend to steer away because they're afraid of things like this happening. John Paul, thank you. Thanks, John Paul. We also spoke to the president of the San Antonio Police Union about the recent issues at Market Square. This is what Danny Diaz had to say about the situation. Something needs to be done. Either start charging, confine it to... Uh, and fence it off to where they have uh, three or four openings like they do at Malosa and leave it at that. And of course, we'll continue to follow up with San Antonio police about what changes will be made for Fiesta 2025 and on what's happening at Market Square.